And here we go, the doctor is in. Oh, I remember filming this, don't you all? Oh, it was good time, and here we go. Hey, the doctor is, hang on, oi, pond. Where are you going? Matt, with no respect, I don't want to watch a single one of your episodes. You wanted to yesterday, you and Rory. Hello. Oh. Do you reckon me and him think the same? Certainly not. You think all gingery and sexy, whereas Rory... I think he thinks, but I'm quoting you when I say, Oh, I'd love to watch those episodes where I'm all sexy and then bow out when that brunette bitch turns up. Uh, sorry, Clara. I am quoting her. I know where I stand here. You're sitting. Why do you think I sleep in the Capaldi years flat? Because of Bill? Well, that too. Oh my god! Just... Will everyone shut up if I stay for one episode? Or 20? Or 2? Or 11? I'm Rory! Five. Final offer. Deal! <laughs> oh, I am a great negotiator! You know, Renette always said so. I'd insist you all call me the great negotiator, if it wasn't mega cringe. Oh, can we watch Girl in the Fireplace instead? That is a classic. Maybe after. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh! Oh my god. Hi, uh, welcome to Doctor Who Road News. I'm your anchor, Jeff. Since when did we have a news channel? Uh, can you maybe, like, mm, shut up? I'm trying to news. Sorry, mate. Go on. Thanks, mate. There's been a possible escapee from Doctor Who Road's basement. This was reported by William Hartnell early this morning, and I believe we got this quote from him. As I live directly above Doctor Who Road's basement, <laughs> I hear these sort of strange noises quite frequently. Uh, usually sounds of... Yeah, and let me out, which I can ignore and deal with and have been for many years. But this time I heard the distinct sound of a door opening and someone yelling, finally, before shushing themselves. Mm. Quite confusing, isn't it? Quite the conundrum. Did we know people were locked up down there? You asking proves you didn't. Fair point. BBC representative manager of Doctor Who Row will be holding a press conference in order to dissuade these accusations and rumours. And this will be taking place in, oh, um, I don't know, 20 minutes on the old unit floor. Oh yeah, they shut unit down! Oh, it's Chibnall all over again. Honestly, it's a good thing. I mean, now they have more money, for example, to spend on us. Like this dope new laptop. <laughs> Come on, gang! We best head down there. The watch along will have to wait. Oh, road trip! So one minute I can't keep you in, and the next I can't get you out. The last time you all got together, hmm, what happened? Time nearly fell apart. I'm not stupid. I'm staying here. No, the last time we all got together, we had a party. Because time didn't for... Shut up. Since when did we get a cat? Make this quick. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Alright, anybody got any questions? You should have seen that coming. You will all go in doctor order. Quick fire. Go. Do you hate me for all this? Susan. Oh no. Still love you, of course. Oh, of course.
good news, Kitty. Next, was there an escapee or not? No. Next, do you pinky promise? Yes. Next, good enough for me. Ta ra. <laughs> oh, uh, no, Tom. Ch uh, pfft. uh, is, is celery for eating or for wearing? Both. <laughs> Next, thanks. What the f do you hate me? No, absolutely not. But the higher ups do. <laughs> Even before the time fracture incident. Next, can you confirm that Tom Baker is very much still in the road and uh, is totally fine as far as we're aware? Um, yes, uh, Tom is to be left alone. He is doing some personal work for me, hence why he's abnormally radio silent. <laughs> no further questions about Tom. Next! Can we have a new adventure now? I'm bored! No, a uh, quiet life for all. Thank you, Whoopi. Uh, uh, peace in our time and all that. Next! Are you going to keep on denying, or are you going to give an actual explanation to all of this? Finally. Thank you. Fuck me. What Mr. Hartnell heard last night was simply one of my BBC operatives performing a routine check. Observe. And I'm afraid to say we're out of time. But, but, I, I didn't get to ask mine. Oh, what a shame. But, everyone out. Brilliant. Ah. Yeah, come on then, I'm taking this. <laughs> come on then, Rory, back to the watch lock. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> oh, and uh, Smith, a quick word if you don't mind. Or not. Bloody rigged. I didn't vote for him. Fancy a coup? Oh no, can't today. Oh, how about Thursday? Oh, I could do Thursday. <clears throat> oh, um, this is a private conversation, Mr. Duffel. Anything you say to me, you can say to Rory. We love Rory. And odds are I'll forget what you say in four minutes. Right, Doctor? For the millionth time, it is Matt. But yes! Deadlock the room. Amy! Good, that still works. <laughs> and I will take your word for Mr. Darvel. Considering. Considering what? How beautiful I am? In that, and I have a great deal of respect for Matt. I spent oh, months alone in old timey France, of all places with nothing but annoying royalty in my right hand to keep me company. They didn't even have central heating. The closest thing they had was just a big fire they used to burn the poor people. Oh, those poor, poor people. Then we got stuck for an entire year. Goodness, I would have gone mad or gotten executed if it wasn't for you. Which is why... I only trust you with this information. <sighs> Go on then. Who got out? Roger Delgado, the first actor to play the master. Wasn't I the master? No, darling, you were Rory. Oh, yeah. Some individuals are deemed too dangerous to be kept with you lot. He was one of them. Seems a tad unfair. Is he still inside the road? Definitely. Recently we upped security all around the perimeter. Someone would have seen him. Why? No reason. But I need him found. Is he really that dangerous? What bloody colour are they? Sorry. There were no good questions left. We love Rory. We love him. We do. I feel naked now. You've got to help me out here, mate. I can't just go off with nothing. I need... something. Very well. I suppose I have been meaning to give this to you. Uh, 
just before the fracture closed, this happened to fall out of it. I'm sure you can guess who it's from. We need him found, Matt. I only wish I could help you both myself, but I'm the only person who can keep the BBC distracted whilst you work. And you are the only man I trust to get this done right, and get it done fast, and get it done quietly. Please. Okay. So, you know what they say, knowledge is power! Roger Delgado. What do we know? Funny beard. Not helpful. Partial to disguise and entered Doctor Who Road in 1971. 1971. Who was the doctor then? Hello! Mr. Pertwee? John, are you home? Got a couple questions for you. Rather urgent, actually. Deadlocked? How do you even deadlock these doors? They're made of wood. Doctor, you are rather spry for your age. <laughs> Hello. Defences triple checked. 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 Running, Running deep, deep, scared. Deep, scared. deep scared. Ouchy head, very ouchy head. What in the name of Neil Gaiman? Ah. Welcome back to the world of the conscious. Oh, very funny. Somewhat gratuitous, but I expect nothing less from this place. I'm going to need you to be very quiet, young chap. Is that understood? No chance you got tenant's tie or a cut-up version of his costume. Let's be really on the nose. I said silent! No, you said quiet. Amazing how much attention you give someone who's got you chained up. Now, I've got some questions for you. You think you can just break into my abode and take charge, is that right? I know exactly who you are. Well, I should hope so. We've been living together since 2010. Or was it 2013? I always forget, do we get locked up at the beginning or the ends of our contract? Oh, sure. Fishing for information so you can fully become this pale imitation of Smith. It's disgusting. Wait. Do you think I'm in disguise? Oh, I, I know. You are. And once this scanner here confirms it, I can feel confident in killing you. And I can finally feel safe from you. Okay. Not the same enemy then. Huh. Look, I'm not Zariah. She's back on Gallifrey, isn't she? <laughs> You'd like me to think that, wouldn't you? Ideally, yes. Well, tough tits! <laughs> and the results are... <laughs> One heart. So that, uh, that means... Uncuff me, please. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, Matthew. I've been a bit jumpy since coming back. <laughs> oh, oh. Oopsie whoopsie. The universe is testing me today, isn't it? That's odd. What's odd? Uh, it's nothing really. Memory just be getting a bit fuzzy. I am over a hundred years old, you know. It's just I... I completely forgot that room was there. What is it? Or what was it? It was uh, Delgado's room, I do believe. No matter, I'll just fetch you the key. No, no, don't go in there. Not without me. Just, just use my... Sorry. Great. Look, 
John, don't open that door. It's only a door. Now who's jumping? Oh, John! Ah! Ah! Oh. oh, come on. Come on. I'm doing a combo. You can stop. Oh, good, because I am hungry. Oi, you got any food in? A tear, Mr. Patry. Roger was always a slippery chap. Oh, no, no. Knew exactly how to get inside you. That's a bit oo ducky. How immature! I'll have you know I'm partial to a bit of totty. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Say we needed to find Roger. What would we need to know? Well, he was always known for his disguises. He could perfectly master, <laughs> if you'll pardon the pun, any person's voice and mannerisms perfectly. He could be your best friend, your wife. He even replicated a bin once for one of Eccleston's episodes. Not sure why in hindsight. Would there be any signs, any way to tell if who you were talking to was really him? Well, because he's not an actual alien with mind-sharing abilities, he will only know what he can find out from context clues and basic research. So a sudden change in mind or mood of someone you know would probably do the trick. This is the BBC attraction. Oh, today just keeps on topping itself. Will be incinerated, yes, we get it. No, it will be nuked. Great balls of fire! Is that better or worse, Doctor? Either way, we'll all die! Oh, I need to find my companions! Liz! Benton! Representative, what's going on? They know there's been another escape and they will not tolerate a possible leak. The only thing we can do is find Delgado. What do you mean, another? No, no, don't do that! No Sonic, no doctor group chat, all I have is Rory. And he's shit. Right, okay. What do we know? Knowledge is power. Come on. The only way to tell is a change in mind or mood. Like Amy this morning? Yes, like Amy this morning. Shows what I know, doesn't it? Come on! Go on, Rory. Keep up. Ha! Ah, who needs legs when you've got the booty shuffle? Ha! Ah. Now, I've got to go upstairs to get to my door. Architecture, what is it? Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Home sweet home. Oh, for goodness sake. A mat saving a day with something under a mat. Now that's poetry. It's the too-hearted fiend, the bringer of 
of monsters, the harbinger of Pudwee-era threats. Clara. He is the beginning. He is the original. He, he's Clara! I've never seen you like this. What did you see? It was huge. Right. What happened? He's gone. And he's changed form again. Oh, I don't like this, Matt. Where's my real wife? Where's Amy? A very good question. Well, we can't call her. Phones are still down. Does Amy still have that locator app on her phone? Um, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Why? <laughs> Slippy floor, eh? <laughs> Blimey. Get a girlfriend, Clara. Check out the window, would you? Why? I have a hunch. Oh my god! Roger Delgado will vacate the Hall residence, or the Hall residence will be nuked. That thing defies all the laws of physics. And is proper yucky. Perfectly Rory description. <laughs> okay. Well. Whilst that finds Amy. But now he's in a good time for this, surely! This, this master bloke, he's still out there and this is the thing! Oh, he's no worry. Now come on, I want to get to Vampires of Venice before we all die. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you want a, a snack or something? No. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll need to pop to the loo. You can hold it. Uh, you said this uh, Delgado bloke is no worry, but I mean... Where is he? We, we don't know. That's why... I mean Rory. How long have you known? You called me Matt. This is Amelia. She doesn't have a locator app on her phone, does she? Oh. Nice to see you again. <laughs> I have always wanted to try that. So jubilar. You got my message then? Ha. Yes, I did. Good thing they only knocked out phone communications. It's a brilliant plan, Matt. Now, let's signal them, shall we? Ah, right. One. Oops. Sorry, Roger. Hello, David. Interrupting. Um, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, perfect. Hi. I was going to use that for what? Don't answer that. Uh, here. Burn it when you're done. Oh. How long's he? Ha! Sonic's been located. Yes, hello, he's here! Roger Delgado is here! I told you 
Yeah. I'm sorry, he was too strong. Well, that's what I was going to say. Well, if you were the real one, then you would have gotten in there a lot quicker, wouldn't you? Well, that's not fair. You hit me really hard. No, you hit me. Oh. And when did you even get that extra blue suit? Well, this isn't ideal. Oh. Which of you is the fugitive? He is. Okay, okay. Got to narrow it down. Which of you is the real one? Got to figure it out. Who do you work for? The BBC. Okay, too easy. Myself and Delgado worked together for a time. So he knows the basics. You're only making it harder to hide. It's Rory! There's representatives all over my flat and I'm in my pants. Get yourself dressed, Pond. One of these men is an imposter. Oh, I thought you just had a twin brother or something. Welcome back, Rory. Wait, no, hang on. Who was this letter from? Renette. What? How do you both know that? You never stop talking about her, Doctor. You even said her name this morning. I don't think I talk about her that much. Oh, that song reminds me of Madame de Pompadour. Did I ever tell you what Renette used to call me? Her darling Eleven. Oh, oh, I, that's dirty. You know, you could see a lot more of the stars back in Paris. Oh, Paris. Okay. Maybe I talk about her a little bit. Who residents will be destroyed in minutes? Aye! But that isn't much of a countdown. Okay. Short time to save the day. One question to save our lives. Would you just turn yourself in? But I'm not him! Fucking you! Yes, you are! I'm not! R2! What did she say? In this letter, what did she say? It says, my dearest Matthew, the path has never seemed more slow, and yet I fear I am reaching its end. Reason tells me that you and I are unlikely to see each other again. But I shall not listen a reason. I have seen the world inside your head and know all things are possible. Hurry though, my love. My days grow ever short and I am so very weak. Godspeed, my lonely angel. And do you agree? That was all bollocks. I didn't read your letter. It's not for me to read. Hello, representative. What? <laughs> you, you can't believe that. Oh, Roger, you really are as thick as Donna circa runaway bride. This letter is unsealed. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. Rory, grab his arm. Hey, what are you doing? Ugh. Okay, Rory. Pull! Don't shoot! wanted to do was get out of this place, this prison. As explained to you, all you had to do was serve your time and then you could have rejoined your friends up here. The road is the prison. Matt Smith, you have marked yourself the road's doctor. What does that mean? You'll find out soon enough. Mr. Smith, you will be silenced.
<laughs> we did it! Hooray! Excellent work all round. I owe you a favour for this. Like I didn't before. For back in France, I say I owe you two favours. I'd like to use one now, please. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. What did you have in mind? I want to speak to your boss. The person or people responsible for sending the Atraxi. Um... I thought you wanted to talk to the higher-ups. I do, but I need a decent shirt. Look, Matt, just because today's events went vaguely like the 11th hour does not mean you have to end it in some big speech against an alien authority. Oh! The BBC Aralians? Don't be daft. Not all of them. But... Please reconsider. I don't know what you're going to say, but tensions are already high with them. One wrong move and... All us actors get plunged into a fiery inferno. I know. That's the problem. Ah! Ah! Amy! So, this is where Delgado threw you. <sighs> I've been in here all morning. And you know what? It's not that bad. I'm going back in. Just wake me up tomorrow for the binge watch, okay? Ta-ta! Bingo. Geronimo. Because you've done what we call in showbiz a colossal cock up. Ha <laughs> ha! You will explain. Would be strange if you didn't. Do you know what's in here? Any guesses? You should know you gave it to me. Give up. I'm disappointed. In here! Is my contract. Turns out I left it back in France. See, this is why I need to stop having such random things in my pockets. Things are bound to fall out. Get to the point, Mr. Smith. We are very busy. Got a long day of floating creepily. Copy that. The fast version. Paragraph 5, subsection C. The Doctor Who wrote section of this contract in such small font, I need to use these special specs made by Stephen Moffat. The good Stephen Moffat, not the bad Stephen Moffat. I'm sure you know the details. Just read the damn thing. On your floating logo head beach. <clears throat> Under no circumstances will harm come to you, me, within Doctor Who Road, whether caused by the road itself or its inhabitants. If this does happen, I'm liable to take legal action against you. Ha <laughs> ha! That's it. You will sue us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, hilarious. 
the case, I will almost certainly lose, or you'll just be boring and settle out of court and I get some useless money. But imagine, Doctor Who wrote your most secretist of secrets, brought into the limelight in a court of law, in front of the world's governors. How do you think they will react to, oh, I don't know, the immortality you provide us? The infinite food and amenities? What do you think you'll look like to them? At best, you'll look like a prison guard or a dictator. Emphasis on dick, but at worst, you'd look like a god. But you're not a god. You are a company liable to all sorts of legal mumbo-jumbo that would put you, not the logo, the one behind the logo, in very gone awfully quiet. What do you want? Oh, I am so very glad you asked. Firstly, I want you to dismantle all Atraxi ships you have in storage, as well as disable any safeguards that would cause us harm. Secondly, I'd like the basement of horrors that poor Delgado was locked up in to be opened and all inhabitants to be released. But they are dangerous people. People who have gone against you all. That's our problem. Now leave us to our own devices. Or I'm coming for you. You will be left to your own devices. Made the right decision, Doctor. Time will tell.